Oh, shit. What? This kid I was friends with in elementary school died. Oh, no. How'd he die? Doesn't say. I hate that. It's so obnoxious. It's the worst. It's like, there should be a law where you have to say how someone dies in the Facebook post. I, I mean, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's sad, obviously, but... Yeah, clearly. Just let us know. Well, if they didn't say anything, it's probably drugs or suicide. Right, but which one? I mean, don't make us wonder. That's not right. I don't know, what if he died in his sleep? Like a, like a, like a, like a brain aneurysm or something? No. No, I know. It's got to be drugs or suicide. It's got to be. For sure. Babe? Babe? Yeah? Try not to get obsessed by this. No, I won't. Well, Steve just told me that he had a gun on him at all times, which makes me think it was probably suicide. Or possibly homicide. So you personally saw him doing cocaine. And do you happen to know how he died, or...? So what did you see? He just went to the bathroom a lot? I mean, he, he could have had diarrhea. My mother has diarrhea every day of her life. She's not on cocaine. I mean, if he just spent $1,500 on a hairless cat, then it probably wasn't suicide. It's not the COVID vaccine, you idiot. No, nothing to do with the hair. Just... He bought a cat, fuckface. Yeah, no, I talked to him too. No, I, I just said hairless because it was hairless, but I'm saying... I don't know. I, I shouldn't have said hairless. I talked to her too, yeah. No one seems to know. Yes, he bought a cat, which means he wanted to, you know, live with a cat, I guess. I, I don't know, I've talked to everybody. I mean, it, it could be suicide, it could be OD, it could be cancer. It could be the cancer came back and made him commit suicide. Or the cancer came back and it made him relapse and then the relapse caused him to OD. I, I don't know, why, why can't anyone just fucking say it? It's fucking making me crazy. I, I, you know what I want to do? I almost want to call his mother, offer condolences, and then maybe just hope she says it. No, no, don't, uh, that's a joke, don't do that. Don't, don't send me his mother's number. Cause, uh, 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 well, it's psychopathic, that's why. Well, I, I mean, I guess, I guess it is just offering condolences, really. I mean, we did meet once. It's actually pretty considerate. Actually, it would actually be, it would actually be pretty shitty if I didn't call his mother, my friend's mother. What am I doing? Hello? Hello? Um, Mrs. Flanagan? Yes. Hi, um, you probably don't remember me. My name's Stuart Green. I was in your son's grade at McKinley. I'm sorry, I don't. That's okay. I. I was just calling to um, offer my condolences. Thank you. Sure. You got it. And um, you're in my thoughts. And... What about your prayers? What? You said thoughts. What about your prayers? Oh, yeah. Well, that too. Yeah, you're, a, you're in my thoughts and prayers. Did you stay in touch? Oh, uh, no. Not as much as I would have liked, but he, but he was a great guy. And, uh, and anyway, I, I just... Can you tell me something you remember about him? Um, Please? Well, we did, we did a school project together, and I actually went to your house. I, I think we met, obviously, a long time ago. I... I think you had the flu. I was drunk. I was drunk a lot back then, so I can't remember as much as I'd like. I, I, I cleaned up when Greg turned 18, but by that time he didn't want anything to do with me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be saying all this, but um, I'm drunk. Drunk for the first time in 12 years. It doesn't feel like it used to. Yeah. Well, anyway, I really, I really just wanted to... What was the project about? 
It was about um, it was about the founding fathers. We, we basically we were just gluing a bunch of pictures of presidents onto poster board. I wish I could remember that. What else do you remember? Um, not much, really. Please, I don't. I I can't. I can't remember a lot from them. And it's, it's tormenting me now so much how little I remember. Please, tell me something. Well, I, I remember we got in a fight. About what? Um, it, it was about, he, he said he wanted to become, we're, we were talking about the presidents, and he said he wanted to be president someday. And then I, I had just learned that to be president, you have to be born on American soil. And I, I later found out that's not even really true, but that's what I thought. And you know when you learn something, you just want to just tell people, even if it hurts their feelings? Sure. Yeah, well, so I, I told him, I was like, you can't become president because you were born in the Philippines. And then, and then he said... Well, I'm going to become president, and I'll, I'll change that law. And I said, you know, dummy, you can't become president and change the law because you can't become president because of the law. And he, he just wasn't following the, the logic. He was always so stubborn. Yeah, 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 he was very stubborn. And so I just told, I said, I kind of snapped. I said, you're never going to be president because you weren't born here. So you'll never, ever... ever become president. And I, I... I shouldn't have said that. and It really hurt his feelings. And he, I, I remember he wiped away tears. And, and I'm just... I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you, Stuart. Mrs. Flanagan, I'm an asshole. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. You're a good kid. Do you hear me? You're a good kid. You're a good kid. Why did... I just wanted to offer my condolences to you. Thank you for calling, Stuart. Okay. So what did you discover? How does the sun shine? 